Well, I don't know if you can uh, see it in the camera, but it is snowing again. Real light snow this time. Man, it's late April. Alright guys, Tom from Wisconsin for everything air guns. And we've got a couple uh, unanswered questions left. So the first question is, out of the brake barrel in 177, so that's the F4, Crossman F4, I want to know... We uh, shot uh, those uh, really good penetrating pellets uh, out of the F4. In fact, let's see, we shot those two pellets uh, to the right there. It's a gold flight and a silent cat. Anyway, those penetrated the steel cans, but I don't know if I can go any... Uh, like if any lead pellets, if I can get a, a 177 lead pellet to pass through, even just one layer. So we're going to try those two lead pellets. Uh, I got a Piranha, it's a heavier lead pellet, 10.5 grains. And then I got that pointed one, you know, I, I wanted to see if maybe you could pierce it. But I don't know, I, I really think that lead might flatten out. But hey, whatever, we're going to find out. Any other question? Can the old pump master shoot any uh, thing through? <clears throat> I'm going to try. That's why I got the gold flight and the silent cat out again. I'm actually going to put those in this gun. Those would be the best chance of anything working. So we tried like uh, the vigilante and we tried uh, a couple of the BB guns. We tried the AK-1 and the Crossman C-11. But those are actually, those shoot uh, in the 400s, close to 500 uh, C-11 anyway. But uh, this one can get uh, over 600 feet per second, whereas the brake barrel will be shooting closer to a thousand. So anyway, that's why I wanted to include this one because this one uh, is kind of the uh, the middle of those uh, other guns that we already shot, the smaller ones, and but still not quite as powerful as the brake barrels. So. We're gonna see if that one can shoot uh can shoot a penetrating pellet through any of them steel layers of those uh, steel food cans. So once again that pellet rundown is the first two, uh so the piranha is a ten point five grain. And we're gonna shoot that out of the F four brake barrel along with that pointed pellet right next to it. Both of those are just lead pellets. So the Piranha 10.5 grain and the Crossman pointed 7.4 grain out of the F4 brake barrel. Then out of the Pump Master I'm going to try shooting that uh, Crossman Gold Flight and if that makes it through then I'm going to try the uh, Silent Cat but if that does not make it through I don't think the Silent Cat will make it through so that's what we're going to do with that. All right, first up, uh, the Piranha out of the brake barrel, out of the F4.
All right, guys. So it did penetrate that first side of that can. And as I spin the can, the exit was just a dent, a big dent in the can, but uh, did not come through. So that was interesting. All right, I'm gonna try it pointed. 7.4 grain. Here we go. All right, here we go. The Crossman pointed 7.4 grain. Any guesses, guys? I think this one's gonna be too light. Let's find out though. Here we go. Well, I was wrong. This one did better than the uh, last pellet, the Piranha. So we got in here. I don't know if you can see all the way through. I was trying to line it up. Anyway, out here. And then on the next can, it just uh, put that big dent in it. So it did not penetrate the second can. But it did make it through one full can, uh, two sides, in and out. Pretty cool. All right, so uh, go set up for the pump master. I'm gonna use. Um, let's see. I'm gonna use, do the gold flight first, and if that makes it through, I'll try the silent cat. But I don't see any reason to try the silent cat if the gold flight doesn't make it. So go flight next. All right, Crossman Gold Flight, 8.5 grains, and uh, shooting out of the Pump Master, the 760 Pump Master by Crossman, and normally it's recommended you sh uh, go can pump it up to 10 times. Uh, I went 12. Uh, I tell you, those gold flights and red flights are amazing pellets. <clears throat> All right, so out of the pump master, went in. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that. Let's try to zoom in here a little. No, my hand ain't the steadiest. There we go. It's a little better. Okay, so that's in. Out. Then in another can, but it did not come out. Uh, I think it left a dent right around here. Pushing out. Uh, I can't say for sure that's a dent, but <clears throat> I think it might be. Oh, still pretty good. Uh, three layers of that steel. In and out, and then in again. All right, so... Uh, as promised, let's try the black cat. Or, I'm sorry, the silent cat. I always say that. <laughs> All right. The silent cat. Here we go. Silent cat. 10.5 grains. 760 pump master. And 12 pumps again. Here we go.
All right. So Silent Cat from the Palm Master did go through one can. It's got there's the entrance hall. Back there is the exit hole. Let's back out a little so you can kind of see it. Focus it. All right, and then it went and it hit the second can. I put this one up front just because this one was getting so many holes in it. So I wanted to not use our busiest can. So anyway, uh, I put this one, the rice and bean can second, and it came and it dinged that one. I don't know if you can see that right there. And once again, my pellet didn't go in the trap. I heard it go off to my right. But again, nothing was hard. All right. So hopefully that helped answer some questions. <clears throat> Another nice little uh, nice look at the guns over here. Used in today's test. Both by Crossman. At the top we got the brake barrel F4. And below we got the 760 Pump Master. Thanks for joining. Uh, it's been Everything Air Guns with Tom from Wisconsin. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell all your friends. Alright, take care guys.